extending a very warm welcome to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. Thanking God for the beautiful evening He has given to us. Praising His name and invoking the Holy Trinity. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist with real devotion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Scott Peck in his roadless travel book he says, The first sentence itself is, Life is difficult. But further when we read the book, he unravels and says, Life is difficult only for those who succumb to that or who accept that difficulty. But the life is also quite challenging for those who go further and see various ways. Today in our life, if we see, we have two ways. One is to do good, one is to do, good, uh, to do bad. If we do good and go in that way, we will find a lot of happiness and that is the way of the Lord. But we defer and go in doing uh, bad, then we will have a lot of unhappiness and that will not take us to a better end. Rather, we will be so much unsatisfied. Thus, we will be ruining our life. Therefore, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. And one who comes to me, he will always have that eternal life. Therefore, he says in St. John's Gospel very well, I am the bread of life. And one who eats this bread and drinks this cup, will live forever and will have eternal life. And for that great thing, Padre Pio, our great saint, has always thirsted. And he was looking for that great food that is the body and blood of Christ. And in that food he found solace as well as he found comfort as well as he found so much uh, goodness thus he could always remain with the Lord with the five wounds that God, Jesus has given to him. Today, in a very special way, let us ask this saint to be with us. Let us also ask God to be with us in our life, that we may end in doing good, find lots of happiness, thus we may always remain in line with the Lord. Today, during this Mass, let us pray for all our children. It's a day of the children as well as day to remain always happy and contented. As we pray for our children, let God keep them under his care and protection. Jesus says, let the children come to me because their hearts is full of purity and full of love. Therefore, today we also ask Jesus to shower his blessings and love upon them, thus making them the real instrument as well as real beautiful witnesses for Christ in our society. In order to partake in this holy mass in a worthy manner, let us surrender ourselves. Let us recall the sins that you have committed and say together, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Yes, sir. 
glory to God. of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Go, eat your bread with enjoyment, and drink your wine with a merry heart. For God has long ago approved what you do. Let your garments always be white. Do not let oil be le leaking on your head. Enjoy life with the wife whom you love. All the days of your vain life that are given under the sun, because that is your portion in life and your toil at which you toil under the sun. Whatever your hands finds, do it. Do it with might and there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gives all your guilt, 
Who heals every one of your ills Who redeems your life from the grave Who crowns you with love and compassion My soul gives thanks to the living God All my being bless His holy name reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. None of us live to himself and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For, the, for to this and Christ dead, died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Kindly stand for that. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 16, verses 20 to 24. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. With great love of Padre Pio, my dear brothers and sisters, you have gathered here. I warmly welcome you as well as I compliment you for the great love and devotion that you have for this saint. David Pollack, a motivational thinker, in his book, The Law of Garbage Truck, 
narrates a beautiful life experience of his which he had along with, with his driver one day he asked his driver we need to go far away because he needs to deliver a speech and his driver gets ready and david pole gets inside the car and both of them are going and the driver is driving very carefully and the driver is such a nice person he keeps the track so beautifully and david pole feels so comfortable as they were going on the right track a man from the opposite side he drives his car very recklessly comes almost hitting the car of david pole and it looks that he was in a wrong route as he slowly stopped his car a little further that man got down from the car came near the car of david pole and started shouting very loudly at the driver of david pole and the david pole's driver looked at him smiled at him he did not say anything david pole's driver in the right track the man who is shouting was the wrong track but again that man did not give up he started shouting and shouting and used all the bad words david pole started looking at his driver why this man is not saying anything he looked and looked but that man was shouting got tired and left with his car as they were continuing their journey david pole really surprised and thought why this man has not said anything my driver in right track and that person in wrong track coming and scolding to my driver and my driver just smiling at him not uttering a word what is happening with this person let me see he just asked a question why my dear driver you did not shout at that man or give anything in return the beautiful lesson the driver taught david pole says david pole's driver said my dear master the man is filled with the garbage the garbage of hatred the garbage of unforgiveness the garbage of rage the garbage of anxiety the garbage of uh, unfaithfulness the garbage of bad words and his duty is to carry that garbage full of garbage is filled with that and he carries that garbage and goes around he wants to dump on anyone who he gets and if i would have replied to him he would have dumped that garbage on me and that garbage would have fallen on me and why should i take that garbage on me it's not my duty the garbage is in him therefore i don't want that garbage in me therefore i just smiled at him and i said let him go now what will he do you know he will go further as he is walk uh, driving further he will meet some more people and he will start shouting at them again if they are quite shrewd enough and quite intelligent in enough they will not shout at him back rather they will also smile like me and go and if they shout at him he dumps that garbage on them so his load is getting lighter as he goes further he tries to dump that garbage wherever whomever he gets and if everyone reject his garbage then will go home in the evening he will shout at his wife and children therefore i was not ready to take that garbage i don't want to take that garbage at all therefore i allowed him to take that garbage within himself when this uh, story or this incident was narrated by david pole many said difficult to follow hard to practice but if it's hard to practice no one is telling you to practice because if you practice you will be the winner and if you don't practice you allow others to dump their garbage in your veranda or in your compound or on you the garbage will be on you so therefore a beautiful lesson david pole says i learned from my driver that whoever comes with a filth or with a garbage in themselves if they try to dump on you don't give the place and that is a beautiful lesson i learned from he says my dear brothers and sisters 
during the time of Jesus, the Pharisees and Sadducees were full of garbage. The Lord of filled within themselves. Therefore, Jesus beautifully says, Whatever they say you do, but uh, whatever they do, you don't practice. Because they will not be doing the right thing, everything that they are doing wrong. But Jesus did not get discouraged because of this. Rather, Jesus was such a wonderful person. He went on doing good and he did not allow these Pharisees and Sadducees to lessen his work. Rather, he did not take the garbage of those people on him. Rather, he cleared everything and went forward doing only good. Therefore, in the world, in our society, lot of garbage. We complain very often. What to do? The society is like that. Therefore, I am not able to do anything. Take the beautiful example of uh, Saint Francis of Assisi. Saint Francis of Assisi, a simple and humble saint, who always clung to God and he said, I want to be with Jesus. And he says, nobody can put me into difficulty. Nobody can give sadness to me. And I don't grieve for anybody's mistake, he says. Rather, what he says, in whichever the situation God has given to me, I need to remain joyful. Therefore, St. Francis of Assisi directly says about the perfect joy. And how he narrates that perfect joy in our life? He says, in case you have gone out for questing, questing means that is the begging during that time, the time of uh, St. Francis of Assisi, where the times are begging for the mendicants and the monks. And you come along with your brother in the middle of the night and ring the bell of your parlor. And in the middle of the night, the brother inside says, I do not know you. And it is raining, drenched. You are fully drenched in the rain. And it is raining heavily. And again, you call on your brother and say, I am Brother Francis and I am Brother Leo. Please open the door. But your brother inside says, I do not know you. This is the midnight. Please come tomorrow morning. And at that time, if you turn back and again go out in that rain, and if you can remain joyful, and that is godliness, he says. That is godliness in your life. Otherwise, it's very, very, very difficult. So, wherever there is suffering, wherever there is difficulty, it is your godly attitude that keeps you always happy. Recently, four weeks back, when I was in Divine, in a Konkani section, I was in a counseling section, and a lady came uh, from uh, Udupi, uh, Mukamar, that is uh, very close to Belmont, and her name is uh, Sujata. And she just sat in front of me and started sobbing like anything. Started crying. Father, nobody will help me. So, I said, why you want any help? She said, Father, for 13 years, I am practicing Catholic faith. For 13 years, I am attending Mass. I am sending my two children for the catechism. Uh, everything that I follow about Catholicism and I trust in Jesus very much. Then she says, no one agrees to baptize me. Then I said, you are from which parish? She said, I am from Mukhamar. Then I said, Mukhamar, my previous parish priest is there. Father Louis Desa is there. Go and ask him. Father, I asked him and he says, it's a little difficult now because there are a lot of complications around. Therefore, I cannot baptize you now. I said, previously, Father Victor was there. You should have asked him. I asked him also, and he said the same thing. Oh, my God. So, now you can go at least to the diocese. Bishop Gerald Isaac is there, and uh, you can uh, ask him. I also went to the bishop's house, Father, and nobody helps me. Therefore, I came to divine. So, at least, uh, I hope that somebody will help me. But the way you are talking, you are also not going to help me. And I said, I am also quite new to divine, but I will uh, see that uh, some help will be brought. But then I asked a question to her. How many times you have come to divine for retreat? She said, for the first time, my God. I said, thank God you have come for the first time. And since you have come for the first time, God will not send you empty-handed. And that was my trust and that was my faith. And I said, my faith started glowing a little more strong. And I also got more stronger and I said, don't worry Sujata, God will show the way. 
what way father 13 years no one has shown the way what within uh, one week anybody will show the way or what that is wednesday okay so wednesday she had come for the counseling i said if you speak this way god also will not show the way whatever the way is open that also will close better you believe in him yeah i believe in him father ah, then trust you have come to divine in order to have something good for you trust in him then one thing she said i was surprised father you want to test me i said i don't test anyone you ask me any sentences from the bible i'll tell you you ask me any prayers from the uh, book prayer book i will tell you everything i know because for 13 years father i wanted a baptism therefore everything i did for christ but christ did not look up to me i said he will never despise you just believe and the same morning i had seen our mangalore vika general uh, father dennis prabhu morris he also had come for a retreat that time some uh, priest retreat was going on then uh, i just kept in mind then i said don't worry in case you have any difficulty god will show you the way trust in him then i asked her who has brought you she said one person one volunteer from bondel and a cooler parish priest father vincent de souza has sent him through me uh, to take me to divine i said call that volunteer he called then i told him two things one is meet brother dinesh in konkani section because he is here for 16 years i am just there for uh, three months now so go and meet him and ask him what are the procedures for the baptism in divine whether they baptize or any other procedure is there secondly as 415 go to saint michael's hall remain there and father dennis prabhu morris will come just tell him that father richi has sent me for this purpose and this lady what she said you know i don't think father i will succeed in this before dying at least if a baptism is given and the communion is given to me i will be very happy i said now you go trust in him 415 they left 445 both are coming jumping and coming i said what happened the lady was sobbing and he was so desperate and telling i don't think it is possible she is coming and running and she is telling me father what you said is true you said those who come to divine will not go empty handed and something has gone brightly for me what happened i said i went and this volunteer introduced me to father dennis prabhu morris and i told him everything within 5 minutes he told me get the catechism certificate from that sister where you learned catechism and rest of the things you leave to me and she was so joyful and she said you know she said father once i get baptism and once they give communion on my tongue next minute if i die i won't mind see what a ardent love for christ my god i was really surprised and i said what a great faith what a great trust and she was from that day onwards wednesday thursday until friday i saw her so jubilant dancing on thursday evening in the retreat because she thought what god could not do for 13 years as done now within half an hour my dear brothers and sisters when we ask jesus jesus will give plenty and that is what exactly saint padre pio and padre pio could uh, wrestle with the demons or devils is why he wrestled with demons or he fought with the devils because he was saving so many souls he was saving so many souls that the number for the hell was less and the devil was so angry it is said in his biography and the devil is to come at night and is to knock at his uh, door and it is to come inside and they used to have a great fight and the devil in anger would damage his nose and the nose would have the blood oozing out but padre pio wouldn't give up he said i want to save the souls and therefore padre pio would fight with the devil at last devil will throw him down on the floor and go back again padre pio would uh, get up and start his business of saving souls such a wonderful saint later he says if you are in desperation he says very beautifully like this when you feel despise imitate the kingfisher that is the bird who builds its nest on the mast of ships 
It looks up, he says. Why the kingfisher builds the nest on the mast of the ship? Because no one can. It is above from the earth and no one can disturb the kingfisher. Therefore, he says, during your times of difficulty, during your times of suffering, look at Jesus and he is the one. Look up and look above and all your suffering will vanish. And this is the same saint. When the penitents went for confession, do you know what the great thing he did? The penitents used to confess the sin and some used to leave out one or two sins and he would call back and say, what about that sin? Beautifully he would ask, what about that sin? Are you not going to confess it in this confession? My God, what a great power the saint had. And the same saint, when Pope John Paul II went to him, he said, one day you will be a pope. And therefore, his veneration or the beatification was done so fast by John Paul II. He said, this man had a great vision and he has uttered these words for me. And therefore, Pope John Paul II tried so much for his uh, sainthood. Therefore, he could, uh, could get the sainthood very fast. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, when the times of difficulty, times of suffering, go back to Father Pio. In his life, if you see, what a difficulty. Sometime, for many years, he was not allowed to celebrate Mass because of the misunderstanding of the church. But he did not give up. He said, I am going to remain with the Lord. I am going to remain with Jesus. Therefore, the five wounds of Jesus were inscripted on his body. Today, Padre Pio is a great saint and is a very modern saint as well as very popular saint. Not because... He did big, big things. Little things with great devotion. Therefore, in our life also, we need to keep that cheerfulness. St. Francis Assisi says, gloominess, sadness is not a sign of a Christian. Therefore, we need to be joyful. How can we be joyful when we are having a lot of trouble? Offer those troubles to Jesus. When the devil came and muscled with him, he did not deter. He did not give up. Rather, he said, with Jesus, I am going to withstand and he wrestled with the devil and chased the devil back. Literally, it is said, devil is to damage his nose like anything. But still, he did not give up. My dear brothers and sisters, in our life also, let us be cheerful always. Because we are Christians. God is with us. And Jesus is with us. So, we believe in Jesus. Definitely, great things are going to happen to us. I remember a bald-headed person little old, 75 year old, bald headed, a few hairs were there, around countable, 15 to 20 hairs he had. Early morning he went to the barber shop and he was sitting on the bar chair. Barber had gone for a cup of tea. When he came back, he looked at his bald head, this barber got uh, very angry. He said, my dear, why this man has come early in the morning looking as a bald head? I will not have a good business today. So this fellow got very angry, he said, why did you come to my shop? This old man looked at him and smiled. The barber started asking, What should I do? Should I count or should I cut? Because there are only 10 to 15 hairs on his head and all are white. This old man did not get angry. He looked at him and said, My dear barber, you need not to cut. Don't count also. Rather slightly color it, let us see. Coloring it, little bit is required. Our life also, we need to, need not to color your hairs. Now don't try, Father said to color the hairs. I did not say color the hairs. Or rather, go and color your life. Whenever difficulties, sufferings, or sadness, or uh, sorrow, don't worry. God is there. Look at him and say, God, you are the one, and I will keep my cheerfulness. Color your life with good things, and good humor, little bit. At last, I would give you a small tablet for you, a vitamin tablet, because the reading was such a wonderful one, and always that word was there, joy, J-O-Y. Take Jesus as first with you, and the prayer as first. O stands for other, that your neighbor or your brother and sister, they are the other. Keep the other second, and do the charity or good things the second. And why? You keep third always. Let us have that lowliness of heart, but fullness of our mind, the fullness of 
generosity of our life thus we may be able to work wonders along with padre pio we also may have that closer relationship with the lord intimacy with christ thus making our life more colorful in our day to day life amen my dear brothers and sisters let all of us arise and profess our faith in our lord jesus i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and we believe in jesus christ his only son, only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered and pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe, I believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen my dear brothers and sisters god has called us for a greater task in this world along with that he has blessed us with the bountiful blessings today in a very specially with grateful hearts let us ask god to give us whatever is necessary to make our life more cheerful more generous and so wonderful with great trust and confidence let us put forward our prayer for the pope the bishops the priests and the religious that the wisdom that they gain in the long years of the seminary training and later as the pastors in the parishes and as educators may be used for the welfare of the people whom they currently serve we pray Lord, give us the gift of discernment for farmers whose crops fail on account of unseasonal rains or drought, that they may may not despair so as to take their own lives, but may make their cases known to the civil authorities who have mechanisms in place of tackle such emergencies. We pray. Lord, Lord give, give us the gift, gift of discernment for those. who are in charge of agriculture in our country that they invest in irrigation and other facilities that the farmers may not suffer such so much on account of natural calamities we pray lord give us the gift of discernment for parents educationalists and all those involved involved in forming young minds that they with prudence and tenderness form the character of young minds to take responsibilities for their lives we pray lord give us the gift of discernment for all of us present in this assembly that enlightened by the word of god and assisted by the holy spirit we may arrive at the right decisions regarding our spiritual and material life we pray lord give us the gift of discernment let's also pray for children all the children and also especially our catholic children that may how could our bringing good education as well as the religious formation thus they may become great witnesses for christ in the future thus upholding the value system of the kingdom of god in their lives also pray for our own families let's pray for the elder members the sick members in our families that god may keep them under his care and protection loving lord you have blessed us with plenty good talents you have given us good life thus with everything that is good we also make our life a wonderful gift for you to offer we ask your benevolence throughout our life thus making us a beautiful instrument for your greater kingdom we make this prayer through christ our lord amen
pray my dear brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may we God accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church look with favor on our supplications O Lord and in your kindness accept this your servant's offering that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be offered for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ is dying, Christ is risen, Jesus Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Give thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Elisha, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints, especially Saint Padre Pio, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the same words of Jesus, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In our mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxieties, all worries, and all troubles, as we await the joyful hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdoms of our power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace and love for Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. As a sign of our love and togetherness, let us share the peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, look at Jesus, the Lamb of God. He is the one who is going to accompany us in our good times and bad times, in our sorrow and in, good, in goodness. Happy are we who are called to partake in his holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
precious is your mercy, O God. The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sampio Amapasot Vinantikare Prartuya. Ye deva to a capuchin yazak sam patre pio, to Japuta Jesu Jakastani, equisister Taran Mantel is on Chavort and Bak Faukele. Tacha Vinatin Amikite, Tregun Makta, he could padayakar, and his third zone. Jesu Chamaran and the exon Gionchi, and it acha Gion Ponaja Mahim and Ponchi Kurpa, to Amka Faukar, Mahima Bapak and Iputak and Ipoitrat Mak. Mahima Bapak and Iputak and Ipoitrat Mak. Mahima Bapak and Iputak and Ipoitrat Mak. Ye Poitra Deva, to just sir meet me and Nasle Lavai by Omukar Sarporta, to Ka Aradan Karta, to just Seva Kabagion Padre Pio Cheramidor Lilibukta. Tacha Vinu Neso Adar and Am Chamagane to Jesurpot with Armahimek Summer Pitao. Dusre di Sache Magne. E Deva Chamogal Santa Padre Pio. Panas was Samporian. Jesu Chepo with Regai Wawon. Tacha Sange Yeg Zound Gionku Devan to Kavisit in Winslow. Ho Tuzo Kuris to a serve at Manche Bachaweka till Summer Piloi. Adi Kurti Duke and Evolvole. Tiapo with Regayani to Kadiletari. Kalanas Liti Duke. To a devacha and a custa the lanchamoga poso to Santo San Suicar Kelly. As Amyam Chimagni to Jatiapo with Ragayan in a tail, Apo with Rahatan chair the Worta Ekadi Mondron, Amchisur Tesawa, Bagan Padre Pio Chahatan, the Missamar Pundivia, the Gaele Atantle, the Pratana Suicar Corono, Jesuit to Summer Pundimanami Magia. Protex on Amcha Burgam Posot Magia. Hariaka white avig nantle de utanka samal norundi. Baribalai kiam chaburgam fao korundi. Bari ginian motanka diundi. Zan white anka melondi. Boro fudar bandonadum tanka. Dev ashirwadit korundi. Am chepasoti himagni. Kilanche gai suikarke la jesu chapu with rahatan chair to samut pundi munamitu jacare porat town. Am Chapa Sargincha, to Jena Povizam, to Jerazam Kayo, to Jukushi Sargarza Tatashi, Sonsaran Zam, Naman Maria Kurpin Berle, Sumit to Jesangatas, Triamitor to Sudevan Sudain for the Jukushi Sojizo. My mamma, Pagani Putagani Poitrat Mia Serpo de Dar Deva Am Chabapa. A play Poitra Kushekal, Tumchi Magni, Swikar Korum, Ani Aple Bo Poitra Mahime Paso, Tumcha Atrek, Tumka Fao Korum, Yami Mak Tom, Jasumi and Jesu Christ, the Chenavi, Sam Pio, Sam Pio Deva Chamogan Petlea, Sam Pio Awe Bapai Kaltos on Gelia. Sampio Costan Varan Tirasan Sambalea, Sampio Francis Assisi Chapat Laudara, Sampio Francisca Capuchin Vordi Chalankara, Sampio Sumia Chapasha and Chagar Ninetailia, Sampio Eucharist at Imbuktin Berlea, Sampio Cum Saraja Sacramenta Mukan Bapa Chicacul da Kailia, Sampio Vide Ponacha Adarsha. Sampio Magnan Tirasan Sambalea, Sampio Tuja Santiponan Kalto Zalia, Sampio Serviazakank Adar Shizalia, Sampio Utmeche Bab Chaveka Tirwaurlia, Sampio Pides Tang Balaikecha Daiza, Sampio Gurjevuntang Takshan Pauncha, Sampio Tukaulo Martelencha Barwasha, Sampio Amasumes Tancha Adara. Sampio Amaposot Vinantikar Pratuya Yedeva to Jasevaka Sampio Samar Pitchi or Nekam Apone Dune 
विविध कुरपे देण्याने भरलोय आणि बघेऊन फ्रान्सिस आसिसीच्या शेतात ख्रिस्त सोया जग जाऊन माखलोय ताच्या मागण्या आणि पुण्यावरवी आम्ही आमकां फावो जाल्ल्या बेसांत तिरासणेन रावून क्रिस्ताक साक्षीदार जाऊन जीवंक आमकां तुझ्या कुरपे देण्याने भर म्हणून आम्ही मागता क्रिस्तांच्या सोम्या वरवी सर्वस्व तुमका आशीर्वाद थिव आणि तुमका सांभाळो सर्वस्वर आपल्या मुखा मळासो प्रकाश तुमचे फांको आणि तुमचे दया करो सर्वस्वर तुम्ही सांपियोचे दौरलेले भक्त मानून घेऊ आणि तुमची मागणी पळादी करो आणि सर फोदेदार ते पाप आणि पोत आणि पोत सदांस तुमका सांभाळो वसण्यात ख्रिस्त शांतीत आणि मोकान तुमका धाडता
You.、Yeah.